let's take a sheet metal exercise and we will learn some basic feature like sketch bend how to use fold unfold feature and we will create one uh, use forming tool to create this uh, formed shape okay so okay here we have two view one is top view one is side view and this is flatten view so we will create this flatten view and then we will apply uh, sketch bend and create this bend if you see this center part radius 35 okay now see here outer distance this is flatten view 114 millimeter let's check dimensions millimeter material thickness and bending radius 1.2 and 1.5 k factor 0.5 cut relief 0.5 okay now this rip width 20 millimeter now the corner radius 10 this radius r10 okay and uh, there is a chamfer 5 into 45 degree this and let's do this first top plane sketch activate circle draw circle at origin point then again I am going to choose corner rectangle draw one rectangle right click select and exit now let me draw one center line connect this line to, uh, to the midpoint of this line select vertical now this is fully defined uh, let me make fully defined 20 and distance from here to here it's hundred and fourteen okay now I am going to use trim entities power trim keep trim entity as construction line because if you delete directly you may lose some constraint so make it construction line press and hold left mouse and drag see okay select the line uh, dimensions radius 35 now activate circular sketch pattern now here see entities to pattern now let me select these three lines okay come here keep angle 360 equal spacing now number of instances keep 3 360 divided by 3 it's going to be uh, angle between these two 2 millimeter okay here choose one more thing select the line this line also so might your drawing will be fully defined see that's why I choose center line also trim entities again keep trim entity as construction line and make this internal line construction line now this is fully defined sketch okay now go to uh, sheet metal apply base flange see this is a close profile now thickness 1.5 k factor 0.5 ratio also given 0.5 okay now let me polish the silver now let me apply fillet or corner break I am going to apply fillet 10 millimeter constant select one edge make it 5 okay the 5 looks better okay if I am going to select this one okay no we need to apply one by one otherwise it will select all corners okay now let me apply image quality keep higher so the edges look more sharp okay now go to sheet metal apply here drop down break corner chamfer 5 degree so I'm going to select this face see by default system detect and select all corners apply now it's time to apply a bend there are two bend one bend here one bend here see there is a bending line 
see this is the dimension after bending okay but before bending dimensions available here see first bending 50 millimeter second bending 93 millimeter okay and uh, bending angle also important see this bend down 45 degree radius 1.5 now the second bend 1.5 45 degree upside see downside downside this is the thing let's okay before going to apply this let's make this hole three holes 5.3 depth point 0.1 10 into 4 into 90 degree okay this is a countersunk hole go to feature apply base flange now here first choose a hole wizard select countersink iso standard and this is apply flat iso 70461 this hole m5 close fitting show custom size see for 5.3 10.4 this is the keep and uh, end condition blind and this is the depth up to shoulder position select this face and place somewhere here let's create center line okay now these distance 104 millimeter either for other other holes you can create here or make it see circular pattern feature already selected now for direction I am going to choose this circular edge and you will see 360 and 3 number of hole we need so keep 3 say ok select this face a sketch line now let's create a bend line okay i'm going to do one more thing draw a center line center to center a smart dimension now this distance given 50 millimeter i'm going to use circular sketch pattern now here choose entities to pattern let me select both line construction line and this line 360 equal space and three number of lines so choose here three say okay look this is fully defined sketch now go to sheet metal apply here sketch bend feature sketch bend feature now here you have to choose one fixed surface so i'm going to select this now once we select this see this is going to apply bending according to sketch now bend position material inside outside bend outside i am going to choose first option bend center line the bending going to center line of this 90 degree no this is going to be 45 degree and this is going to be downward side change okay by default radius 1.5 this one keep as it is now let's unfold select this face collect all bends even you can manually also select but all three bends selected ok now this is again now let's apply bend here select this upper face sketch line now let me apply one bending line here again I am going to apply center line this makes your life easy your geometry will be constrained so that's why i applied this construction line now these bending line line 93 millimeter circular pattern now sketch and pattern entities select these two three number of patterns 360 equal spacing say okay see now again go to sheet metal and apply here sketch bend now first you have to select fixed surface so I'm going to select this look the bending goes 90 degree upward side keep bend line position center line not 90 degree this is make 45 degree but this is 45 degree upside by default radius 1.5 okay now this time I'm going to apply 
fold. See, fixed surface already selected. Now here choose bend. Collect all bend. Means this all three bend. Say OK. See here, our geometry is ready. Let me save this one bracket only. Bracket one because it's already saved. Now let's make this center emboss. See this emboss 8 millimeter, 5 millimeter. Now let's check 5 millimeter thick, 5 millimeter thick, total 8. These uh, 8 millimeter is outside of the material. Okay. Corner radius R3, then here diameter 60, 50, 30, and this radius 1. Let's create a forming tool. Choose new part front plane is sketch activate line tool right click select and exit now make this line center line apply dimensions now if you keep cursor outside it will show you diameter inside radius let's apply diameter 60 the second one 50 the last one 30 okay the height 5 millimeter this is also 5 millimeter and this upper one only 3 millimeter okay apply revolve boss base feature now see this geometry to construction line geometry is open so system asks would you like to sketch to be automatically closed say yes now look by default system took this center line as an axis of revolution by default angle also applied 360 degree if you change something like a 270 see this is not complete body okay so make sure this is complete 360 degree say okay now let's apply radius radius constant type 3 millimeter multi radius select one now this second radius if you select there is an error so delete this let me select these and this again show error delete let me select the upper radius that's why we choose multi fillet radius one enter the second one is 3 millimeter now again select one more option make this one one so upper one one bottom one one the center one we have to create again say okay fillet constant type radius three millimeter symmetric and select this one okay okay now let's go to sheet metal forming tool now resting position so see this phase is resting see and this is going to emboss face but this center one is going to be a hole faces to remove select this one say okay look this is resting this is hole and this is form this yellow color shows forming body forming shape let me save this one save as you have to save like a bracket bracket one okay this is what the name we given now here save as form tool where forming tool emboss here already many tools save this file here now again go to bracket now just check design library forming tool emboss now here you will see one option bracket drag this bracket to this upper side just rotate and see resting position applied on this face and rest going downside position right click select now select this outer edge and this center point co-centric make this one look this is fully defined sketch say okay 
see the shape is created look the forming shape hole everything and this is how we done apply flat and view look you can say normal view right click export to dxf dxf file save sheet metal hidden edges no let me choose bend line sketch library feature also this is the library feature forming tool bounding box okay now it will see this is the our main drawing now you can import this drawing in autocad or for machining purpose you can export this drawing save exit don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching